This is EasyOSX, and today I'm showing you how to install Homebrew on your Mac. To get started, open your terminal. Now we need to install what's called the Xcode command line tools. Xcode is Apple's own app development and programming suite. Don't worry, you don't need Xcode installed or know how to use it. We just need to install this in order to use Homebrew to its fullest. To install this, type in the following. Xcode dash select space dash dash install. Also, all these terminal commands will be in the description as well. Once you've got that in, hit enter. Now, I'm getting an error because I already have them installed on this machine. If you don't have them already installed, you'll get a prompt to install them. The good news is, is that if you forget to install Brew without the tools, Brew will actually prompt you to download and install them before it continues its work. Once the command line tools are installed, we can actually start installing Homebrew. Open your web browser and type in brew.sh in the address bar and hit enter. This will take you to the Homebrew homepage where you can find more details about Homebrew, its installation, options, and can even search for packages. All we're worried about at this moment is this top section where it says install Homebrew with the terminal command below it. We're going to copy this command and paste it into our terminal. I recommend hitting the little paste icon next to the command since that's easiest. Now we're going to paste this into our terminal. This script is going to fetch and run the brew installer from GitHub. When you're ready, hit enter. Type in your admin password when prompted. And keep in mind you won't see anything appear on screen as you type the password. Assuming everything was typed in correctly, you'll be presented with a list of what's going to be downloaded and installed and from where. If you're ready to go through with it, hit enter. It should only take a minute or two at most for it to download and install everything. Once it's done, you have Brew installed, but you're not done yet. Pay attention to this line that says that Brew is not in your path. If we try to use Brew now, we'll get nowhere fast. It will tell you on the last couple of lines what you need to do to start using Homebrew. Most importantly, you'll have to set the path where Homebrew stores its packages and where you'll be able to modify it. Fortunately, Homebrew tells you how to do that under next steps. It's going to give you two sets of commands to run to add brew to the path and allow it to be usable. The easiest thing to do is to highlight and copy the first command, paste it into the next line, but instead of hitting enter, hit the space bar, then two ampersands, and an additional space. This will tell the terminal to run each command in order rather than you having to run each command separately. Now I'm going to copy and paste the second command. and hit enter. Assuming no error messages, we've successfully added homebrew to our path and have it ready to go. To test this, we're going to open a new tab and type in brew update and hit enter. This will have brew check for any updates to itself and any casks installed, which right now are what came along with it. Since you just installed this, it likely won't show that many options, but as time goes by, when you run this, you'll see more things pop up. But if you don't get any errors, you've successfully installed Homebrew and are ready to get going. In future videos, I'll show you some cool things you can do with Homebrew. But for now, thank you so much all for watching. If this video helped you out, then give it a like. It'll really help the channel out. Likewise, if you want more Mac, iOS, and other Apple tips, tricks, and advice, you can subscribe to the channel. You can also check out the website, easyosx.net, as well as our social media pages. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.